Hello and welcome to this quick video where I'm going to show you some of the new features from Farmaker 19, in this case, configure the NFC readings. My name is Douglas Wallace and I'm part of the product marketing team. So as you know, at Claris, one of the things that we target ourselves to make really uh, clear and understandable to everyone is that we try to, we want to make powerful technologies available to anyone. So as you may know, NFC is something that's been out on the market for quite a few years now. And we've decided that it will be really nice for people to be actually to use it in their uh, daily apps. So one of the features and one of the uh, where we're going with Claris now is we want to make smart AI and smart apps. Um, when we say smart, basically, it's using some of the functionality that you can find you can find in iOS devices or macOS devices to make your app actually work better for you. So the three new features that we've actually got coming up in FileMaker 19 are the NFC reading, the Siri shortcuts, and the core mail functionality. In this video, I'll go through the NFC reading to show you what you can do and what is NFC all about. So the new script steps that we put together is called Configure NFC Reading. It's supported on FileMaker 19, Go only for the time being. Eventually, if there's potentially demand for FileMaker Pro access, we'll see whether we can actually get it to work on that. Uh, configure NFC reading is actually quite simple. It scans or will actually stop scanning for NFC tags, and NFC tags is actually a near field communication. So, what is actually is NFC and where do you want to use it and um, how it could be used? So, NFC, which is near field communication, is a stand standard based short range wireless uh, connectivity. Uh, that is really there to actually make you exchange data quite quickly. So you can actually have those on cards, uh, on a lot of devices, uh, could be your uh, payment cards, could be your uh, transport card, pretty much uh, anywhere you can find it. And uh, the NFC is actually quite nice because it's compatible with about 100 millions of, of cards out there and readers. And so it's already out there. And so basically this new uh, script step will actually enable you uh, to get it to work with your Farmaker solution. Uh, if you're looking for more information on AFC, I uh, invite you to look at the NFC forum website where you'll see a lot of information. So the script step is actually quite straightforward. There's an action where you'll specify whether you want to read uh, the NFC tag or just cancel uh, the script step. And then further from that, you'll basically have a couple of options. Uh, where uh, you'll basically be getting data back from the NFC and then you can actually play with that data. So the script basically to specify which script will actually be run once the tag has been read. Uh, it has parameters on uh, what uh, extra information you want to have. You can set up a timeout if you're not getting any information back from the NFC and you can do what we call continuous reading where unless there's just basically the value in on zero, the script set can keep on going and getting information from various NFC tags. Uh, so when you get the data back from the NFC tag, uh, with the get, get script command to function, you'll be able to actually get all the information that is fed inside the tag into a multiple parameter. Uh, so the information you get back is actually based on the MBEF uh, notification specification. Uh, you will get eight lines of information back. So the first one is the reason why the script was called. So you can have two, three options. There's a narrow string, and then the f lines will basically give you the information that is fed from the tag. So depending on what is on the tag, you could be getting a URL, you can be getting a business card, text, phone number, a lot of stuff uh, that's coming out. A line server will actually give you the type, the ID, and the next one, the eight, will give you the format. So now we're going to go, go in a quick demo. So on my iPhone, I have uh, got an app called NFC, uh, which helps me sort of uh, read and write data to an NFC tag. So I've got one where basically I'm going to write to uh, an NFC tag a web link. I can click on that, click write, and it's basically going to write this information to a tiny tag that I've actually bought. Uh, you can find really sort of small tags on the internet if you could Amazon and other places. You can find them for really cheap prices. So now I'm going to basically start up my Farmaker Go 19 app. And I've got my NFC tagging small app that I've got. And 
so all basically I had to do was to create a couple of scripts in this file so that I've got one which is the scan one which basically is telling me to go to a specific layout and then configure the script step NFC reading where I'm going to basically read which is the action so you've got two options read or cancel the script once it actually read information what it's going to do with it and I can set up a timeout if I want to uh, the second part of uh, this it will go to a uh, scan one finished where basically it's going to uh, get the value of get script parameter into a variable and then from that I'm going to if I want to I can actually pass uh, some data uh, out of that uh, information so all I've got to do basically is click on my button ready to scan it's going to scan information as you can see this is information I got back so it's giving me telling me that I've got a tag red some of the information that you can actually see uh, from the previous list I showed you, this is the information that was provided in the tag, so the URL, and it tells you this is the URL. That's pretty much what you'll get. You only get, always get eight lines of information. Uh, sometimes they'll be empty if there's no information coming back uh, from the tag. So this is pretty much standard, really useful to use, and doesn't take a lot of time to actually get set up, and will be really useful to use uh, in your uh, smart AI or smart apps in the future. Thank you.